we visited Sean from chickleathers.com and he's going to show us how to actually make, um, well, a bracer and everything that goes into it. Okay, Sean, so we're going to be making... Uh, well, archery bracer with a horn inlay. Yep. Uh, these are um, historical. Uh, there's a gentleman up in the model house. He is a 14th century Fletcher. Yep. Uh, that's what he specializes in. And this is actually based off his little uh, bracer that you showed me. I took photos of it and made the pattern just from the photos. Yeah. So uh, we've spoke before, before this. Um, yep. We're, I've cut everything out ready, but yep. I let you decide on the stamp. You've decided on this little uh, Celtic knot. So I've wet the lever, it's dried a bit. So we just go in like this. Okay, let's see it. Okay. And a bit more back there, like that. Then. Okay. There we are. And that's literally it with uh, so that's, stamping. That's a stamp. We've got a pattern on the lever now. So yeah, uh, yeah. So um, it leaves the indentations and that will stay there. We've got to leave this dry now before we do any of the dyeing. Uh, okay. Which I've got everything ready. So we can, as soon as this is dry, we can start dyeing it up. Brilliant. Okay, we just give that a bit of time to dry then. Okay, okay so Sean, can you walk us through what you're doing here? So at the moment, I am using, I'm going to be dyeing the leather now. Yep. So this is oil-based leather, and it dries beautifully. Okay, like so this. this is going on nicely. We use these things called wool daubers. Okay. Let's go on like this. And that just makes it easier to paint the leather, they paint the dye over Yes, there. it holds the leather quite well. Yeah. So. Oh yeah, and see now with the dye going on, the embossing is beginning to stand out starting more. Starting to pop. Yeah. So I'm just going to pop that down now. Okay, that's just a rough going over the dye, yeah? Yeah. And you just come in. So these are the bits that will hold the buckle which I'm adding at a when I get home because um, I didn't bring the items uh, for that because uh, I'm not situated up here uh, for applying rivets and stuff because yeah. I would drive my table into the grass. Yeah, we don't really want that, no. but uh, you know, it's good to see what we are seeing today. So that will just. Uh, as you see, this one's already... That's drying really that's fast. That's really quick. The yeah. leather sucks it up. Yeah. Leather loves oil. Uh, not as much as it hates water. Right. Because you don't want to wet your leather too much. Okay. So that's one of the things of, like, with the harpers, we are going to get our leathers wet. What to guarantee, yeah. So my advice is do not use heat. Do not use artificial heat for okay. drying out your leathers when you are out there uh, you get wet and you come home but hang it up leave it to dry just hang it up it, dry will, it, will, it will dry by itself um but you gotta make sure you put it in a dry room yep it's not too uh wet not too warm uh keep it away from artificial heat uh, away yep. from direct sunlight as well actually yep and because the issue is you don't want mold setting in N no. No. Uh-uh. Because -uh. once mould sets in, really difficult to get out. Yeah. So. There we go. As you can see here, go uh, back over a little bit just to get a bit more of a... So you're just touching that up now a little bit to... Yeah, touching it up a little bit. And also adding, that, adding a bit of depth to the colour. Yes. Uh, that's the good thing with these um, oil dyes is no matter how much you add, it won't go too dark hmm. so it's keep it, it all it does is just give you some richness rather more richness than, but not darkness. go into the depths as you can see mm. in the, these yeah it goes a lot darker yeah so as you can see already that's soaked in that has so i'm just going to go in like this just to give it a nice consistent so even though that's still wet i've got my gloves on i don't care <laughs> um, uh, well yeah i can pick it up 
So, um, I, as I told you beforehand, everything here, from the lever to the die, yeah. is made in Britain. So the whole thing's made, made there's no, no importing materials No yeah. importing on the dies or the lever. Yeah. Which is really nice. Yes. Yeah. So now just getting that inside then as well. Yeah. You can leave it. Yeah. Don't necessarily have to. And if you're not going to seal it, you don't have to at all. Mm -hmm. I seal it all the time. Yeah. I, I like keeping the leather consistent. Yep. Go into the edges okay, like this. Would, just from an aesthetic point of view, yeah, I like the color. On this, I like the matching colors on the inside and out. Yeah. Yes. Uh, So as you can see, that's nearly yeah. ready for our top coat. Okay. So that'll be about a couple of minutes now to finish that, up drying. That's going to finish up and then we can, there we can pry a top okay, coat. So now, so now the it. lever is drying like this. Yep. It's going to come in. Okay, that's a piece of suede, yep. A little bit of suede. You can use um, like rough... Um, Shirts, anything lint-free mm -hmm. is perfect. So that's the rule then, lint-free, yeah? Lint-free, because at the moment I'm just buffing off any excess dye yep. that is sitting on top. Uh, you see already, compared to that... Oh yeah, that's changing. Because this is also in the process burnishing the leather. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which is one of the best bits of level work. One of your favourite bits, yeah. Well, one of my favourite bits, especially with one of the products I work with. Mm -hmm. it makes it so much nicer. Because what burnishing does is mm. all those little fibers yep. have been flattened down. So, so okay, so now we've, got we've just buffed off all of the uh, excess dye that yep. was sitting on top. So now we're going to come in with our satin clear coat. Okay, so this is that the top coat you mentioned. This is the top coat I put on. You can get in gloss. Yep. You can get in matte. Okay. I'm not a fan of matte. And for me, gloss makes leather look cheap. <laughs> Right, so we're going satin. We're going satin, which is, in America, semi-gloss. Okay. So. I think it's worth saying, because we've got quite a few American viewers, so yeah. So this is a semi-gloss satin finish that we come in. Okay, and again, we're just painting that on. The dauber. Just coming in like this. This dries very quickly, but you see how vibrant... Oh, wow, that red really begin to it, pop now, yeah. This brand of dye and sealer work very well together. Yeah. So we'll go in with this. Like that. So we just leave that soak in and dry. As you can see, it's made it darker. It has, yeah. But darker it's quite vibrant now very very vibrant so we just gotta leave that like that as you can see there's a couple of bumps yeah uh where you put this uh, top coat so once that's dry we come in again put another no, layer, in. layer in that smooths over it sets into the little recess okay then pieces yeah, you can almost see it settling down with this depth from the lever where we've got the yes. stitching and the uh, and the embossing going uh, on so what i always say is is a warning on my website as well yeah Please bear in mind, the colours you see on my website yeah. might look different to what you get. Well, you because go, go on. my camera is rubbish. <laughs> well, I think it's a fair point, actually, because one is, I think leather is a natural project, a product anyway. There varies. will be vari variations yeah. and stuff like that. And the other thing is that it, it, when people hear a camera never lies, honestly, when you take a picture of the camera, you put it on a screen, the, the colours are almost impossible to get perfect. <laughs> exactly. Colour. 
So the reason why we seal it yep. is not only does it mean it's much easier to clean. Mm -hmm, which matters. Um, if you sweat, which everyone does, yeah, uh, and you're wearing leather next to your skin. Which people are going to do. You might get a bit of rub off. Yeah. So that you seal it to make sure no colour gets, gets can, die, can die into your skin. Can die into your skin, can yeah. rub off into your skin. Yeah. So you're put, yeah, just protecting what you wear. Yeah, just uh, moving over. So once that's ready, I'll be flipping that over. We'll and be dying, then, uh, sealing it. And then when we come back, we will be stitching on this little piece here. Okay. Uh, I'll only do the one bit of stitching for that. Yep. Uh, I'll do the rest at home so we can finish off. Okay. The reason why we have these is these were made for longbows. Yeah. And longbows are nasty if they hit your skin. <laughs> uh, you're not going to have skin. <laughs> Yeah, but was it the lab bows are like 25, like I said, 25, 30 pounds? I mean, a competition bow is maybe 60 or 80, but a long bow, oh, that, you're, you're, talking, bong you're talking about a whole other region now. 130 pounds yeah. plus. Yeah. Now, if that, that string hits your skin, you're going to know about it. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, this is a uh, token all. Okay. It is a uh, burnishing agent. So, You've, well, you felt how rough. I felt it rough, it was, it was so, quite rough, yeah. It was very rough. I've already done the other side. Yep. Uh, so, I'm coming in now with this. So again, you're, you're using that suede now to rub, yes. that, rub that in or down or just? Uh, just friction. Yeah, just, just friction. friction. Okay. Uh, it's basically a uh, lubricant. Right. Uh, it just makes it easy when I come in doing this let's see how long that takes yep that's going to take a while that's going to take a while i'll be finishing that bit, that little stitch up later okay that's fine uh, so i can leave that on like there but you can now start to see the stitching that takes up that little space and yep. how close that is. That so is now tight actually, this is nice. Yep. That's, that's okay. There we go, all his face. Yes. So now we're just going to pop on, this one will take a lot quicker. Right. So the holes for this are bigger. Okay. Come in, this on top. Right, so that's what you're doing. Tie it once. Just so I don't have as much thread to work with. Yep. again and you cut them short and one second okay. one last thing I need to get right you and you're going to get a flame on those so that's one it melts the end Ah. And now you're not left with a loose bit of, of sinew, you're actually melting it down. Melting it down, so you can... So you've got a nice solid piece there which you can't untie. Exactly. That yeah. will be difficult. That's, that's not going to break, is it? That's now melted solid. Not solid. So that, that bit so of flame there is, is all you need. That's all I need. So then, what I'll do uh, later side. on, yep. I'll do the other side. Nice. We'll get that all finished up. 
once it's all completed, I have it sent out to you both. Okay. So you can see the finished product. Fantastic, thank you. I'll that's get good. some nice shots of that out yes. as well. And that's basically uh, the basics of, of this is one of the simpler pieces you can do. Yeah. Uh, with leather working where you just cut it out, uh, stamp it, to, uh, dye it, and then stitch yep. everything together. Got you, yep. And, uh, and that's it. That's it. That's it can be a bit more complicated leather working. Uh, there are some very complex pieces. I imagine maybe you've got patterns with comp multiple pieces hooking together. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, that's everything done there. That's brilliant. Well, thank you very no much. Worries.